Hey geeks, we're back with another Walking Dead review, this time reviewing The Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 11, titled Hostiles and Calamities. And if you haven't seen this episode yet, you're gonna want to skip this video because everything from here after is a spoiler. So, Hostiles and Calamities. Yes, it was a bottle episode, which we've complained about all season long, but who freaking cares because it was a great episode. It was a really good episode. I think it was probably Eugene's best episode of oh, the entire series. Yeah, yeah. I, I swear to God, <laughs> I was gifted this this uh, uh, jar. I was gifted this jar of pickles. <laughs> yeah, he like That's loves gonna it. be my thing for a while now. That that line kills me. I don't yeah. I don't know why. It's not an especially funny line, it, but it, I, it just, just tickled it, me. Yeah, it just worked in that situation, yeah. and it was incredibly funny. I was gifted this jar of pickles. Now, I kind of feel this episode kind of bodes ill for Dwight, because now that Eugene is Negan's man, not really a comic book spoiler, but a little bit, Dwight does some stuff during All Out War that helps Rick and his group, and with Eugene now on the inside, he's not necessary. Eugene can do that stuff. So, like, I kind of think Dwight might die here soon. Just, uh, Eugene, I think the whole I'm Negan, I'm 100% Negan, I th that's all a ruse he's playing Negan. Oh, no, I think it's totally true. I think he's a coward. <laughs> really? Yeah, I, I totally I think he's, he's a coward. I, I don't think it's a, a game. ruse. No, I think he's a total coward and he's playing. I think it's when they go after Rick's group he'll, it'll kind of force him to not be a coward like it has previously. He's a coward until he, a certain something happens that pushes him where he's like, I can't be a coward for this situation. And then he goes right back to being a coward again. So you, you think he's all in with, with Negan right now? I, I don't know that he's actually with Negan, but I think he's, he, he, means he's, it in that moment. he means it in this moment because he's terrified of not being with him. So he will be with him until the threshold is too high where he can't be a coward and hide behind that cowardice anymore. But I don't think this is some elaborate plan on his end. No, I think he means it. See, I, I think it is. <laughs> Maybe I'm giving Eugene way too much credit. I think it's a ruse and I think he has a long con going on against me. Yeah, I, I just think he's terrified and he's a coward. On the subject of Dwight, this episode tried really hard to generate some empathy for him. For me, it didn't really succeed in that department because they spent so much effort in making Dwight kind of a despicable character. This one episode isn't nearly enough to get him back. Yeah, no, it's definitely not. They, they've got some more work to do to that, kind of redeem that guy. That and they did all the the whole beginning of the episode and like through most of the episode was trying to redeem him, and then at the end he totally fucks over the doctor, and yeah. so that kind of ruined what little bit of headway he had been making in redeeming himself. Yeah. And I see why he had to do it. I yeah. mean, Sherry, as far as he knows, is still alive out there. But the lie he told, he's got to cover it. So setting up the doctor, that's how he covers it. Yeah. So he's yeah. protecting his his wife. Yeah. So I, I get it, but it's still a dick move. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, you're, you're maybe saving her life by killing somebody else. Because yeah. he doesn't know that she's if she's alive or not. Yeah. And she even put in her letter that she'll likely die yeah. out here because she's just not fit to survive in this world. So, I mean, she might die anyway. Yeah. She made it to the house to leave a note, so as far as he knows, she's still alive. But as far as anybody knows, she might have died right after that. She could be in the backyard dead. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> so. it's... Moving on to Negan's wives... They had kind of an ingenious plan to manipulate Eugene into making some poison for them so that they could assassinate Negan. And it almost worked. It really, they, they got really close. Like, he made it. Yeah. But it's, um, after the demonstration with the doctor, I think that's when it clicked in his head what they were doing. 
Yeah, I, I think so too. I think he believed them up until that moment. Yeah, it was at that moment is when he figured it out. Yeah. Which was before me, because I hadn't figured it out at all. I totally thought they were helping their friend commit suicide. Yeah. I, I, I did not put two and two yeah. together. And I kind of feel stupid for not, because it was so obvious. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, how but, did I miss that? <laughs> but they did a really good job of making the, the one wife, she's in such a deep depression the fact that yeah. she would want to commit suicide and the fact that they would want to help her it's completely plausible i bought full in on it yeah yeah and i it didn't even like when when they asked for two it didn't even i yeah and, and that, that was I, I, the other thing the fact that they asked for two yeah because like they in make hindsight sure. i'm like oh yeah that yeah. was a huge red flag because they said in case anybody else wants to but i mean eugene's not going anywhere so yeah, why, he I, could just make, he another, just make one. another one. That yeah. didn't make any sense, and the weight would be different, so the dosage would be different, and yeah, yeah I, I didn't. That should have been a huge red flag, and I totally missed it. <laughs> just after this episode, it looks like Eugene's story is going to diverge pretty radically from the comic, yeah. which I am one hundred percent down with. I, 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 I like the direction that this is going. So the fact that it is different is totally fine with me because yeah. I like this. A lot of the times when The Walking Dead diverges from the comic, it's good. Yeah. Like, it, that's not one of the things they mess up. They Typically, it's it's like an alternative storyline that Kirkman had, and it's just as good, or sometimes even better, than the comic. So I'm, yeah, totally down with something different. Now, that's, it's not true for everything, like killing no. Dale and Andrea be before they died in the comics. That was obviously bad changes. Yeah. But more often than not, when, when they diverge, it's pretty good. Yeah. Overall, very good episode of The Walking Dead. I thoroughly enjoyed it, even though it was a bottle episode. But you know what? Like I said, who cares? It was a damn good episode. That's all we have for this video. If you enjoyed it, let us know by dropping a like on it and subscribe for more reviews. And thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.